I've been working for the town of Newburgh since uh, 1998, so I've been here 14 years. I've been working with Commonwealth engineers for 19 years. The barometric loop was a result of a lot of study and a lot of work and a lot of collaboration between engineer and client. We were looking at a uh, seven mile force main that was giving us problems with odor. On the route of the seven mile force main, there are these air release valves, vacuum air release valves. These valves breathe in and out, depending on where the high point is in the line. So we have co the column of water in these air release valves is disjoining. And then when the pumps kick back on, it expels all that air out through these high points and creates an odor issue in the, in the neighborhoods. We were spending $300,000 to $400,000 per year in chemical feed costs trying to control odor on this force main. So it was very, very expensive. We discussed it and, and thought that the best way was to try to do something that was very passive in nature that didn't require a whole lot of control. And this was the genesis of the barometric loop tower. Using a tower construction with a vortex, we would be able to accomplish two things with the design. Uh, number one, we'd keep that column from disjoining and prevent the, uh, the odor complaints that we were getting out in the collection system. Plus, we would provide pre-aeration of that material coming into the plant. And we're so happy with that design. It, it works wonderfully. Uh, we. Uh, it's been in operation for close to a year now and we've had no complaints at the site where we were originally receiving complaints. So it has completely eliminated the odor complaints out in the collection system. It takes an entire team to make a successful project. We need their input, they need our input. I'm looking at it from an operational perspective and knowing what will work in the real world. Uh, they have the design expertise behind them and, and they're very knowledgeable at that and have, have worked all over the state and did hundreds of projects. So they have all this history under their belt. And it truly does, it, it's not only the design engineer, it's the operations staff at the wastewater treatment plant, it's that, cons that, that engineering representative that's on site that can head off hundreds of power problems and, and see where things are getting jammed up and not going to work right. It takes an entire team to do a project like this successfully. Good contractor, good engineer, good on-site representative and, a, and, a, and an operation staff that uh, has got their input and an engineer that's, that's paying attention. And we had that here. It was very successful.